Hi guys, it's February the 6th, first day morning, and that's the time when I play Bridge and challenge you, uh, the viewers and the players of the Fun Bridge exclusive tournaments in match points. Uh, in February, as any other month, you can uh, fight for the collectible max in the uh, in the federation tournaments collect the points and either you might be in the top three or you might get lucky to be drawn uh, from a lottery and this max says it's uh, good enough to play bridge uh, crazy enough to like it uh, it's green so it's a little bit difficult to read in here because my camera is filtering green so you don't see the mess which is behind me Okay, but uh, let's jump in and let's have a look what was the last week because uh, I was pretty busy and also on first day a little bit stressed because there was the European Bridge League uh, officer seminar in Prague and we have shared a lot of uh, interesting ideas and projects from all the federations around Europe. Uh, also, Mr. President Gianna Rigorona came uh, to tell us what is going on in the WBF and President Emeritus Cosa Damiani. So it was really uh, interesting to hear uh, everybody what they have a view on the future of Bridge. And last week uh, we had the records in participation. So 831 players played in the match points and 1233 in IMS. And um, I'm really sad that uh, I missed the article and stuff, so I apologize to the players who won. So at least this way, congratulations to uh, Mongui Mongui, who won with 75%. I mean, this must have been uh, like pretty, pretty flat because 75% and the second player... Uh, with Petit Prince with uh, almost 72 and only three players wins 33 uh, were on the top so let's see the details how it was uh, I just made uh, a mistake in here and then chose the wrong contract to end up with 57.57 so these two boards uh, cost me uh, top I would even say top 10 uh, but we might have a look that uh, Sel began from Norway with 62, uh, leading my friends list and Alice Reuter 60%. Second place and let's see the third, uh, Swain Eric Dahl. Uh, wait, with 47 only? What? That's, that's uh, something strange. What's going on here, guys? What's going on? Apparently we have some problems with the view because uh, I'm wondering that this is number six So why doesn't it show because my friends list I will understand see so Lina Adlund with 78% okay, so tournaments ranking all So apparently there is some kind of a bug. I, I thought so because okay number 18 had 70% so probably some problems with the ranking uh, showing but I have absolutely no idea why so let's focus on the new Thunbridge tournament we have 433 free players at the moment and Ivan as Shymin from Croatia is leading the field with 75.79% we have Ernard uh, which finished only three boards at the moment F Dante and AJC uh, here on the second and third place and who is leading okay uh kuba from the czech uh youth team now also a member of the national team with 66 percent uh roger switzerland 66 lurpe 66 close and after my two bad scores i hope that i will get again and see that plenty of uh my friends ended up over 60 so i hope uh, that i will manage too so let's go let's go okay um, I will adjust a bit so we see the bidding and also the information there although I mean if we play like this it's also pretty interesting uh, if I move it to the right 
uh, but we want to get the data and see the last trick and stuff. Uh, 13 high card points, pretty balanced hand, so I mean this uh, will be either playing spades or uh, ending up in no trumps. Partner is a passed hand, uh, so we will not go higher than one or fighting for a part score. Opponents might have the hard fit, so that's good that uh, we can find with the fight with the spades. Mm. Well, that's the end of our fight. So too bad. Partner, on the other hand, partner will be short in spades, which is not good that our owners are kind of useless. But he must have a long suit. Uh, guess which one? When there are misfits, it's always the one we are shortest in. So partner will have hearts, and I think that he will also lead a heart. Okay, let's have a look. Yeah, see, told you. Uh, the seven is a bit discouraging though. Um, I have a setup with second fourth leads and seeing the eight and a nine and jack in my hand, partner might have the 10 only. Six high card points, I had 13, there's 19. Uh, jump to two no trumps should be 20, yeah, 21. Uh, so partner has like nothing, literally nothing. So now we know that ace queen, uh, ace queen in spades is there with west, but I probably need to attack it very soon, hoping that he doesn't finesse me twice. Okay, so this is good that suddenly I can establish a spade trick. Okay, he had five clubs. Guys, so let's count. Let's count uh, the tricks for West. So he has three clubs, three hearts. That's six. Two spades. That's eight. And three diamonds is eleven. That's too many, and that's from top. And I mean, I cannot do anything. Um, even if I dug, he has plenty of communication, so this seems to be a flat board, 50-50, yeah, and he claims the rest. So only if partner leads a spade, spade will establish us an extra trick, 45%, see that there were uh, some people who did a bit better, like, but on only two. Pass, pass, pass with south. Wow. And you still got a hard lead, uh, but now... Why not? They, they didn't... Finesse the spades? Wow, okay. Well, that's pretty sad. Lucky for you to pass the 13 count. Well, sometimes it works out. Uh, two spades, two spades down, three for a hundred percent. So let's see who is this uh, lucky guy. Pass, pass, and one no trump, and one no trump. Twelve, fourteen. David Millard. And after two diamonds, transfer you bit two spades. And this guy with twenty-one high card points is passing from the beginning till the end. Wow. Well. You know, that happens with computers. In the real life, this will not happen to you. Unless you play against a complete beginner who cannot like see that he has like eight honors. Okay, 11 high card points, flat hand, uh, like pretty terrible, although we have some sequences, sequences with tens. So potentially later on, our hand is not that bad. For example, now, uh, since we have minimum 23 high card points, so I invite to free no trumps and well, that's it. So preferably uh, I should have bid one no trump only. But it's not like that bad. We're losing two spades and three clubs. But if they give us a trick, then we can cash nine tricks or maybe even ten. So how to make them to play spades? 
Do we discard the queen or not? Okay. Um, in here, I don't want to play the queen because uh, they still have a chance that they have it. So this guy wants to win it with the king and play another spade normally. In the normal life. This is a small, small spade. Come on. This is Arjun. Arjun is not kidding around. Oh, good. So this is perfect. So we have eight and this is a diamond discard. So this is 10 tricks. So they gave us at least a little bit. Unblocking the hearts. That's important to do before you start playing on diamonds. And we have another diamond discard. So the game is over. Because both of them discarded the diamonds, so even if they split bad before, they split well now. I'm wondering how many people will play free no trumps. 61%. 23 people bid and made free no trumps. Well, that's relatively quite a lot. Some people made less, and I'm in this board. Uh, this board is not about your skill. This board is about being a bit lucky uh, What Arjun does in the defense? Because they can beat free no trump so all of these guys should have a zero By jumping to free no immediately or opening the hand So this is where luck plays a role in bridge you just rely that your opponents are making mistakes uh, when they are playing against you and that they are playing well when they are playing against the others or on the other other line okay um, do I have with 22 high card points um, the first question should be if I want to upgrade because I know that with Arjun if I show the balance hands very often she chickens out uh, with the reasonable hands which are strong enough for invitation to a slam and I have two four six like seven honors um, But the ten of clubs the jack of spades That's a little extra if we find the spade fit now the doubleton hard is uh, is just awesome Yeah Hmm Well, my choice is two clubs and then bidding two no trumps. I'm not strong enough. If I open two hearts, um, partner partner will expect a much stronger hand. So I just bid what I have. Okay, three clubs. So I bid my spades and four spades. See, and this is what it is with Arjun. Now I have absolutely no idea uh, if I can push and bid on the description says three to eight but he often has like ten nine ten so i have to trust my partner you know that's that's all i can do five high card points and see that's a great hand uh still we are missing two aces and there needs to be some play why because we have to choose one of the hands and try to get rid of the losers. So if I choose the south hand, then uh, actually I need to get rid of the diamond uh, if the ace of diamonds is not with east. Because if the ace is with east, uh, I can play twice from north. I might have enough entries with king of clubs and the spade. Uh, but still I need to get rid of the club. Uh, if I play the other way around uh, so I can try to establish or rough the two losers in heart but for that I need to have entries to draw the trumps so I will do something what is in between and I will try to cross rough the hand at the end I have enough of middle cards so the 7 and 8 is very important and the king jack queen 10 on both sides makes it much easier for myself Okay, three and six. Now it's important to watch the count. 
Okay. So it seems like there are hopefully only three clubs with west and four clubs with east. Okay, now we can discard the uh, diamond loser and we might play another and discard another diamond loser. And that might seem to be uh, like fair and square. We can also like overruff in here and play the diamond because then we just need to draw the trumps. And this seems to be a bit safer. Because he has to jump and now I have both winners. Uh, so see, so the diamond was rough, so I can over rough and now I can draw, well, maybe I shouldn't have played the queen actually guys here, uh, because there could have still be a higher spade with west, so I'm missing the nine. So if east wins with the ace and plays another diamond, there could have been a promotion, but two trumps were gone. So I could rough high, so at the end it will work out. So some people might have issues here. I mean, I lost only the two aces, which is good. So 60 over 60%, 66 almost. Yeah, so seven people played three no trumps, made 11 tricks. Uh, what is it? 3, 4, 5, 9, 11. Because the Ace of Diamonds is there and the club jack is dropping. That's why you have same amount of tricks in spades and in no trumps. This is not always the case. Especially if you have a double, if you have doubletons in different suit and you can cross roughs. Usually there is one extra trick in the major. Okay, one diamond pass, five diamonds. This is like awesome bidding because I'm having a void and kind of a nice hand. But what can I do? I mean, everybody vulnerable. So this is creating big pressure, big pressure on myself. So I have one defensive tricks and for the rest, not much. I mean, one diamond pass, five diamonds. It's usually like weak with a lot of diamonds. So if I double, will Pardon understand it that I want him to bid? This is a takeout bid. Um, well, I'm okay with a takeout bid. But then I need an ace from partner. Um, and score free tricks. Yeah, well, I can imagine we, we have even five spades there. If partner has a singleton heart or singleton club, two honors. Why not? I mean, passing in, passing might be the winning action if they have five diamonds and we go for more. But if they really have five diamonds, then I want to bid on. And again, I have to trust my partner because the points might be like around 2020. I just need like two good honors. Okay, I double. I feel I feel preempted. Come on. Okay, well, pass it is. So now we need to score free tricks. Okay, ace. Um well, hopefully hopefully partner you have the king because otherwise this was the perfect lead. The only way how to give a, give away the contract. Five, four, three, one. Could have been a singleton, right? Yay! Well done, partner. See, playing the king of clubs actually, well, that was so risky. I mean, you have to overtake and now Hopefully we might even score a heart. Uh, 
Uh, unfortunately not, because that's that's when you're when you are playing an honor. So hopefully partner has the ten. Hopefully he has the ten. See, he's cashing everything, and he's going to squeeze me. See, so this heart is a squeeze card for my jack, and uh, it's enough easy if he has king nine in spades. But I have doubled. Yeah, he's got the nine. Well played. Well played, Arjun, but it's doubled. 200. Give me 80. 99%. Wow. People were not doubling with my hand. And, well, they did. Actually, 100 did. But they didn't beat the contract. And I mean, when you double, you need to make sure that at the end you beat it. So, this was extremely important to be trust our partner. You know, that... He's not leading an ace just from an ace. Especially when he is behind the stronger stronger person. I'm victim of a pseudo squeeze. How do I know to hang on to hearts? Well, Sunny Dave, I don't know what was the what was the lead. Dave. Um, I'm wondering. It's difficult because I cannot search if I do all the players. Uh, there is no possibility to search in here, so sorry. But if your partner leads the ace and switches to clubs, you just need to you just need to trust your partner. Okay, one club and we have six clubs. Not bad. So we have seven tricks and we want partner to bid no trumps. But if I bid a diamond, he bids whatever major. Well, then I jump to three clubs and ho hope he bids uh, three no. Uh, three clubs is strong with at least four clubs. Three no, okay. That's it. I mean, partner hopefully has a heart stopper. Okay, he has two heart stoppers and they let a diamond. I mean, uh, that's that's a good lead for them, because otherwise I could have established the spades. Um, two is the fourth best, so I might need to duck twice, try the clubs. Also, I have difficulties if clubs split 3-1. I have only one entry if they play the spades. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So actually, I might have eleven now. If the clubs split, so the question is, do I want to win it immediately? If clubs doesn't break, um, well, then I need. I need them. And I have to duck it, and he will play a spade. I know them. No, okay, so he played the diamond. So now I can play the club. See how it goes. Okay, so this goes well. This goes swell. Now I want to cross with the heart and play the queen of spades. If he doesn't cover... Okay, he covered. See, easy. If he doesn't cover, he doesn't have it. So then I will win with the ace and cash all the clubs. Try to squeeze west if he has six hearts and king of uh, king of spades. That's, you know, very low chance. But if you don't try, you will never succeed. Okay, and that's it. So this was... Uh, Kind of a pretty boring hand because the queen of clubs dropped. So 68%. See that uh, if you get a hard lead, you might get a much better score. Although 
making 13 tricks. Oh, you won it. And, and what? What did they discard? I mean, they must have discarded uh, two spades in order to make everything. Okay, he discarded the hearts. He covered. And now I guess that on the heart, he discarded a spade. Ah. Ah. Big mistake. Big mistake. So that's lucky for those players. Maybe I should have win. 24 points now. Okay, we're loaded second time. And now it's definitely two diamonds opening. Uh, after that, I might know if Parton has an ace or not. Um, although the bad thing is that that would be a free club response. Because that's a minor ace. Um, then it will be difficult to find the fit for four majors. So maybe I show only 22, 23 and then I push if we have a fit. One, two, I still have like five losers, you know, this hand is not like entirely great. I still need quite a lot from partner uh, to even make a game. Because if partner has zero, I need pretty good shape. On the other hand, ace of diamonds, spade fit with the queen and short hearts, easy 12 tricks. And only six points. Yeah, I I don't like the two diamonds opening at this situation because uh, I'm missing the minor aces. If I if I miss the major aces, I will be like that. So two diamonds uh, should be partner partner shouldn't have passed our two no trumps. <laughs> okay, well, that's what happened to me. So I lied by one point and, well, let's see, maybe it will be good. Uh, it's not good. Hopefully they have fair days and they will, they will be able to duck two rounds of diamonds. Four of hearts. Maybe I should have, uh, maybe this was a mistake. Oh, this was a mistake. Oh, okay, four, five, six. Yeah, well, I can duck. I don't have that many tricks. And now I have it. I have all 12 tricks. Wow, this will be a bad score, guys. This will be a bad score. So I have what? I have two discards, but I cannot discard clubs. So I have to try the club. Yeah, why didn't he play the heart before? I mean, he played the spade. And partner let the... Hmm. Uh, wait, my mouse is not working and now I can claim. So let's see how many diamonds he had with the with the ace. Okay, and hopefully one more. No, pity. So three no trumps is always there. That's too bad. 20%, maybe less. 40, 41 actually. I mean, why? Okay, 74 people went down from three no trumps. And some people scored less tricks. So if I actually bid into no trumps, I have a chance to score even 83%. I mean, so let's replay the, the hand. If I open two diamonds, what happens? Two hearts like showing nothing, two no trumps, 24, and three no trumps. So, what do they lead? The same lead. Four, seven, eight, nine. I have 10 tricks for sure. Guys, maybe more. 
Okay, 40% I take. I thought that it will be much worse. Uh, 8 points, not an interesting hand. I mean, now I will use a couple of extra points. After a double from partner, which shows like an opening hand, uh, normally it's like 3 for honors, which you count. So on the other side, if you are semi-balanced, then you should count your losers. I have uh, nine losers, so if partner is covering three, well, let's say four for his double, uh, then I can make a contract on second level, not more. So that means that this is not a hand where I want to jump to two hearts to invite, because even if partner has like five owners, uh, well, it will be tough. Finesses might be on, but I need extra. Now, since partner raised me, and to show like 16, 18, or a shape, now we're talking. Now this is different. Now partner should have like five owners, and that might be enough, because nine minus five is four, so that means like four losers, but now if we are missing a finesse, it will be on. So when it is on, let's push it. And I better like four hearts than three, no. Okay, uh, no finesse, no finesse, no finesse. The only thing what I can do is try to end play west. Or establish the third, fourth spade to dump the club. Eight of spades. Seventeen, so twenty-five. So they, he has all. Um, and I mean, this is tricky. This is tricky. So there's the king, so still queen, jack, ten. So even if I duck, I cannot finesse, uh, finesse the spades later on. So I have to win with the ace. So eight, jack, might be a doubleton. Might be very risky though for West playing from king, queen, ten. Can it be free card, like eight, 10 jack? Why would they discard the jack? Um, doesn't seem so. I mean, with this layout, three no trumps is perfect. Five, six, seven, eight, and we establish the diamond for the 10th trick, or probably get the lead, club lead for, it. sorry, the ninth trick. So three no trumps would have been perfect. What can I do? What can I do to scare them? See, unblock just in case. Yeah, well, that's unbalanced. So that will be five diamonds, four spades, three clubs, and singleton hearts. Yeah, and what to do now? I have to lose this, well, this one I can win, but even if I play a diamond, he wins and he will never play me a club, he will re just return the diamonds. So, can I do actually anything? Like, discard the club doesn't help me. So I have to rough this one. And play the diamond. Hope he ducks. That's all I can expect. Yeah. Uh, one down. 
Should I have considered free now? Yeah. Should I have considered free now? Okay, 48 people made four hearts because they got a favorable lead. That's what I'm guessing. So they jumped to two hearts and then got spade and heart switch. And then probably on a spade. No, what happened? I mean, I mean, why is this? Is this even reasonable? Like that Arjun makes such a mistake against others and not against you. I mean, this is a bit not fair, uh, but I'm wondering who bit Freno. Freno trumps down one. Why? I mean, you should make Freno. Three no trumps, 88%, only four people find it. Only four people find it. See, I also thought that four hearts is better. Um, apparently with the balanced hands, you should always consider three no trumps in the match points. Because that's a big difference. Okay, now I have a really interesting hand, like 6-5. Finally something, well where most likely we have a misfit. On the other hand, East uh, denied a four card major. That means what? That means that partner has minimum six hearts. Awesome. That's a misfit, guys. That's a misfit. Yeah, because West is having maximum four, East is having maximum three. That means East West has maximum seven hearts. Partner has minimum six hearts. So do I even want to bid? I mean, definitely I don't want to push like super high. I need partner to find with spade fit. And now let's double them. Uh, I can actually bid three diamonds here, but I have, I have a couple of defensive tricks and we might get the hard rough. But wait, if Barton doesn't have, if Barton has six hearts, what is his count? I mean, he didn't preempt it with two hearts. He didn't overcall one heart with six. Minimum six. He might have even seven. So I think it might be not worth a try. I have two and a rough free tricks. If Barton has a singleton spade. I have the spade draft and potentially can establish an extra diamond or heart. I'm doubling. And he bids three hearts. Well, that's what we know. Um, sorry, my fault. I knew this is what's, what's coming. I was thinking that he will pass it. Now we are screwed. We are so screwed. So let's bid five diamonds. Oh wait, I completely screwed up. Ah! Ah, well the double was stupid. I mean, I might not get double, I, I get doubled. Uh, ah! Ah! See, I, I made, I... I figured it I figured it all out and then I used and I didn't figure out what will happen if I bid the double. I found out that double is perfect that partner will pass, but uh, unfortunately the double is take out in this situation and he keeps bidding the hearts. I mean how many how many times I tried not to play the hearts because we know it's a disaster in hearts. We know it's a disaster. See, what a contract, three clubs doubled. So I should have passed. Maybe with three diamonds. 
and he's bidding like three hearts, four hearts, five hearts, six hearts with his six jack. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, at some point you have to give up. Well, it doesn't matter. This is a zero. Ah, uh, this is a zero. Yeah, I might try to get some tricks. Let's see if he covers. No. And I might have still have a diamond entry, so let's try to establish the spade trick. Okay, didn't work out. Yeah, I mean, I might even I might even finesse with the ten here. Um, what was the clubs? No two. This guy had six. He didn't cover with the queen. Well, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Yeah, I thought the queen is on. Uh, and one trick for me. Yeah, stupid mistake. I mean, really stupid mistake there. Uh, at the end to double. Oh, well, it's not a complete zero. There's another stupid one as I am. Thank you. Thank you very much, and probably, because, well, this is 0 0.75, uh, there should be someone even worse. 5 diamonds, 1600, 8, 2800, redoubled. Well, okay, so how about free clubs? How about letting them play free clubs? 39, 38. But pushing them, okay, see, beating free clubs, that's what we are talking. Five diamonds redoubled. Wow, how do you push them? Two spades, pass, pass, three clubs. Okay. King of hearts, rough. Spade. Diamond, and now you establish the spades. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Bang, bang, bang. And now you draw trumps. Wow. Linea, well done. I mean, this is a deserved 100%. Five diamonds redoubled making. Uh, then seven people got doubled and didn't bid. So I'm wondering, see, so doubling free clubs, bidding in once or twice will be something like redoubling in five no trumps. I mean, scoring scoring 300 is a top score. So that was actually a good thinking, good analysis that I should let them play. Uh, and I might even beat them. But unfortunately, uh, you need to think that the double will not be passed and the double is not penalty. Yeah. Well, at the end, 52%. Uh, I mean, uh, we had a very good start up to board number five and then three pretty uh, like bad hands. These two, I think, were quite reasonable. The last one, terrible. Uh, and I end up on 170th place. So let's see what it is. Shimin, F. Dante, uh, NJC, Barnsley, Natalo, Jean-Marc and the others. Uh, on the friends list, we have Shimin, uh, Kuba, Roger, Lurpe, Francois, Martin Lahey. So plenty of you over 60. Finishing up with crawling. I think that someone will still squeeze in uh, before before the very end. And 
this is all for today. I'm really looking forward for the next week and especially I, I missed uh, the live stream which you can find on my YouTube channel. Just search for Milan Matsura and you will find the uh, hopefully the latest one but also the previous videos there. So take care guys and keep playing bridge. It's fun. <laughs>